Okay, I restarted this mission because I know where we're you going. And I don't know, it could be considered a spoiler, but I know this is about to be some awesome nostalgia here. Okay, enough already. Focus on what we're here for. I don't want any mistakes. Okay, what's going on here is we are not playing as Amanda Ripley right now. We are this guy named Marlo who is recounting how uh, the alien got Monster onto the beats. Sebastopol Keep station. So here we are now. We're on LV-426. Uh, replaying, which this is cool. Instead of having a cutscene, we get to play the. Uh, essentially, we get to play the cutscene. That's, I like that. And I just thought that the <clears throat> alien fans, if any of your alien fans that have been checking this out, you'd probably appreciate this segment. mystery then it's unknown if it's unknown then it could be valuable this could be our biggest call marlo could be this is like i got goosebumps this <laughs> that's how awesome this is right through here this is cool I mean, it's got like that same feeling of like just complete mystery and oh, it's just cool. I mean, it's just it, you feel like you're part of Kane, Dallas, and Lambert's trip to the derelict. If I can find a weak spot, wait here. And there's not a lot of depth of field with the storm, but uh, Heist, over here. Give me a leg up. but that enables them to make. What you can see is so detailed and I found a path. Check it out. What if you don't come back? Then you wait some more. they feel the need to throw in like I don't know if that was an attempt at a jump scare or what it was but I mean I guess they're just reinforcing that the planet is harsh and uninhabitable at least for humans stay put I think I found something
There's a fissure in the rock. Stand back. I'm gonna blow it. one of the best segments so far ruined by controls wanting to go a little stupid don't do that to me again let's get going follow me Discovering this game is really at its best when it's not doing anything. Um, not saying that the segments with the alien aren't great, but when it's not around, you're still just like tense. And then, whoa, there we go, there's a derelict spaceship. <laughs> or if you're a Prometheus fan, the engineer craft. How do I get down there? Oh. We're gonna. Cutscene teleport down there. But, um, as I was saying, when the game is doing nothing, it's probably when it's, like, at its best, because you got these, just these huge set, uh, just the exploration, it, of certain areas, it just feels so nostalgic and just brings you back to. The... It's like what re. It's almost being able to rewatch Alien for the first time, and not having any idea what's going to happen. But it has that awe-inspiring kind of feel to it that that original movie did. And then you know, not so much during this segment, but uh, in the game, the main meat and potatoes of the game. Uh, you're always on edge. I feel, or I find myself having to play the game in smaller chunks than I normally would because it's just like it's exhausting because you're always like tense and stressed. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. So we're basically coming up the same path that uh, Dallas Kane and Lambert took. You can't really see the whole ship because of the storm, but that sense of scale is still there. And they didn't shoehorn this in in like a stupid convoluted way like Aliens Colonial Marines did. Hopefully there's no st hopefully there's no Prometheus Easter eggs. <laughs> realized how small these tunnels were. How'd the space jockey walk through here? Oh my god. Oh shit. Careful with here what we you go. touch. I don't want anything damaged. It's amazing. How old must this be? What is it? A cockpit? And make this a ship. Can it? We're wasting time. Have a look around. Right. It's a life form. It was a life form. 
Now it's our property. Salvage rights. We need to stake our claim before anyone else does. And Isadora's not prepared for something this big. Then we'll take what we can and come back. Have a look around to see what else is here. Marlo, we found something. Tracks. Tracks? It looks like something was dragged. But that's not all. You're not gonna like this. What is it? The tracks lead here. Same name that's on the flight recorder. Nostromo. Maybe they abandoned ship and landed here. I can see that. Shit! If they were here before us, why is there no record of this place? Well, if they're still alive, there goes our salvage. Let's find out. I'll find the beacon and shut it off. Don't want anybody else finding this place. Foster, Heist, check out the cavern below. That is so awesome. I wish I could get up higher so I could look at him, but... It's not human, I'm telling you that. I like how there's still some mystery to it, you know, like they didn't try to, ex like they didn't show you like the remains of the, the chest burster that came out of the space jockey or anything like that. <clears throat> but, however, this does explain why the distress signal isn't present when the colonists show up that eventually become the colonists of Hadley's Hope. Don't know what happened, but the beacon stopped broadcasting. Marla, you have got to see this. It's amazing. On my way. So that's, uh, it kind of fixes up a little, I guess you could say, a little plot hole in Cameron's movie. Now the shit's gonna hit the fan. This place just keeps on giving. Here, strap yourself in. They even still got the blue. Yeah. Sweet. Oh my god. Over here. Watch the drop. Come on. Wait up. 
Shit. They're lucky both of them didn't get... Oh. Oh, here we go. Oh, shit. That's how our alien got aboard Sevastopol Station. That was probably one of the best segments in the game so far.